hi guys so for today's video we're gonna do a couple of things it's just gonna be like a random -y type of video um first i wanted to show you guys my outfit like the types of things that i wear in the middle east because i'm home most of the time but i do go out for dinner for coffee and to pick up groceries and i do like to look pulled together so i love t-shirts i've had this t-shirt forever this is a saint laurent t-shirt um i don't see it in the white anymore but i do see them in black so i will post that in the description box below if you like um designer t-shirts i don't do it too often uh just occasionally just to give your look a little edge sometimes so i put my blazer on from just fab and my slacks are from just fab as well my hermes click clack these are just some um, cheapy earrings i think from h m and then i have some heels from a local store out here in kuwait so i wanted to show you my look i usually wear flats i have black flats and then i also have heels so sometimes if me and hubby are going out to dinner i'll put my heels on but most of the time I'm just in my flats or my sneakers, in particular, my Yeezys. That's my favorite. I'm trying to get him to get me another pair now. I either want the brown ones or I want the black ones. Babe, they have all black ones? Yeah, those are my favorite. They're so comfortable. I love that sneaker. And then I also have a pair like of Skechers that I like. They're just all black. So I'm in sneakers or flats most of the time. I also like my Hermes Oren sandals, but honestly, it's time for me to update those because I've had them for a couple of years and it's starting to look like it. So um, I need to invest in another flat sandal for summer. So we'll see what I do with that. Before I get to what I wanted to talk about today, let's talk about this lip. Let's talk about this lip. The lip is giving everything. I'm not gonna talk about these items right now, but I did go to Makeup Forever yesterday and I was just supposed to grab the foundation, which I did grab the foundation. I, I'm actually wearing it right now, but I'm gonna talk about this in a separate video. But I wanted to talk about this lip, y'all. This is the Artist Liquid Matte for Makeup Forever. This is in the color 109. Um, now I, it doesn't look as matte on my lips right now because I did add a, a little gloss on top just because I wanted to see what it looked like. But when I do my video on this foundation, I'll put the lip on without the gloss. But y'all, I love this. First of all, the lady influenced me into this. This is why influence is a bad thing. She was like, ma'am, you know, if you get three items, then you get this little gift. It was just a little gift. I'll show you sometime or another. So I was like, no, nah, I'm just gonna get the foundation. So we're walking around the store and she's like, but ma'am, if you get three things, you get this gift. And finally I just gave it. And I was like, okay, just give me the gift. Give me this, this, and give me my foundation. And child, let me go. <laughs> you know, she was sweet and I was kind to her. Um, but she picked out two colors they were like pinky colors and so this was one of the colors that she pulled out and i love like pinkish nude lips that have a more like purple undertone and in the store it looked kind of purple to me but when i put it on my lips it's it's definitely pink a pinky type of tone but it also pulls a little bit of that purple y'all this is so matte this is great for under your mask if you have to wear a mask all the time and i know here in kuwait we're still required to wear masks i mean they're, they're kind of lax on it in some areas but like you know when you go to the doctor when you go into the malls when you go wherever you still kind of have to have your mask you know and so this gets so matte but my lips didn't feel dried out so i'm going to continue to use this and come back to you when I do the foundation video, which will be soon because it's a new foundation. So I want to get that video up. But this is amazing. I think this will be amazing under your mask so that you don't have transfer. Because you know, when you go out, it's like 
you want to still wear lipstick because you want to look fabulous and all of that but it's such a hassle wearing lipstick and lip gloss underneath your mask and this gets so matte but your lips still feel you know okay like you can move them you know some matte products is just like crazy crazy tight it's uncomfortable this is not like this y'all need this you need this it's wonderful and tell me the color is not bomb.com it is so pretty this is a lip okay all right what did i want to talk about today i wanted to talk about this netflix series that me and my husband are watching called inventing anna and you know it netflix gets on my nerves you know they're so woke you know everything is like over sexualized uh about race about all of these issues that are have become so popular in the united states and it's hard to find things on netflix that's like not trash let me sit down why am i standing up <laughs> okay there we go there we go there we go all right so we're watching this netflix series and like i said it's called inventing anna and it's like <laughs> To me, it's it's very good. I don't know if my husband is like enjoying it that much. Babe, what are you giving it from a scale of one to 10? <laughs> He's like laughing. An eight-ish? Oh, that's high. I didn't think you would give it that high of a number. All right, so beware. There is some woke agendas of, involved, like some unnecessary scenes that we don't need to see some unnecessary sexual scenes, but it's not like there's no nudity and it's not like too overt, but you know, there's a little bit of like wokeity woke in it, which is, that's annoying, it's so annoying. But anyway, it's okay, it's, it's, it's watchable. It's not like too trashy to where me and my husband have to like turn it off. Cause we've gotten to the point at our age we just turn it off. If it's too trashy, we just go ahead. We just turn that thing off because we don't need to see all that. We don't need, we don't need to see all that. Okay. I have my own trash to think about. I don't need the trash from the television, you know, but <laughs> it's an interesting series because there was one scene and I won't give any like, what do you call it? Spoilers. I won't give any spoilers in case you want to watch it, but there was one scene where um, she was talking to this girl, which was Anna's friend, and she was questioning her about why Anna was doing what she was doing. And the girl was like, everybody has an agenda. And it made me think about social media and YouTube and our careers and the turn that romantic relationships and marriage and all all of the views that people have about things that are so important in life uh the turn that we're in with society and i thought to myself i, I told my husband i said oh my gosh that is such a a powerful point everybody has an agenda and i think this is why we have to be careful while we are navigating society you know it's like what is it babe she <laughs> i always do that right i always say it the wrong way um yeah a wolf in sheep's clothing i think we have a lot of people out here that are talking about relationships marriage um leveling up fashion femininity and i really think they are doing it for their own personal agendas uh, whether it's for fame whether it's for influence um whether it's for you know money because money is important to all of us you know even on my channel even though it's a hobby it's always been more of a hobby for me um, I've always found ways to capitalize off my talents and the information that I think is important. So even I capitalize off YouTube. I look at YouTube as entertainment first, because uh, I don't really take any serious advice from YouTube. You know, I have people in my life that I could go to, you know, go to for advice. But you can find some helpful information on YouTube and YouTube is entertaining, but still, 
all of us creators are looking for ways to capitalize off of our platform, off our social media influence, and off of our clout. And I think anybody who tells you something different is a liar. And you should be very afraid of them because they're not being honest about why they are doing what they are doing. It's just that some people will go to very weird extremes to make money and to get influence and to get attention. And I'm not down with that. I'm going to be who I am. I'm going to be myself. I'm going to be as real as I can. I mean, of course, there are a lot of things that you guys will never know about me, about my life, <laughs> about my family. You will never know because, you know, I am a private person, but I'm an authentic person. I share some things. I don't mind sharing some things about myself, you know, my struggles, um, things I've learned. I don't mind because I'm not ashamed of, you know, being a human. But of course, some things you have to keep to yourself and you have to keep private, you know, your income level, you know, things you're doing in your life that other people could come and try to destroy. You know, these are things that me and my husband keep to ourselves. things that uh, we don't want public, you know, that we may be a part of, but we don't want people to know that we're attached to that public thing. And so you do have to keep in mind that everyone has an agenda and you need to think about what people's agenda is when they are sharing thoughts and ideas and opinions and advice and make sure that it matches your agenda. So, you know, you have an agenda, right? And I think as women, we want to be in secure situations with some type of creative outlet or career that we find fulfilling that we think we can use to help people. We want to have a space to be vulnerable and to be secure and to be loved. And this is why I'm so passionate about relationships. So even we have our own agenda with how we move in life and how we choose to make decisions. And it has to benefit our life, our family's life, um, the people that we are trying to help and guide and influence, it has to benefit us. Everyone has an agenda. And so ladies, I want, I want you to think about your agenda. Maybe you could tell me in the comments, like, what are you trying to do this year? You know, we're still kind of at the top of the year. I know I have a birthday coming up and I use my birthdays not to turn up. <laughs> I never did turn up for my birthday, but like, you know, sometimes I travel and do different things. I don't know what I'm doing this year for my birthday, but I know every year I'm always like in a really reflective process. And so I want to know what's your agenda? Is it to make more money this year? Is it to go back and get some certification or develop your skills? Is it to get into a healthy relationship that can lead to marriage? If you're already married. Is it to improve your relationship with your husband and make sure the emotional bond and the spiritual bond and all of that is in, in order? I know one of the best things about moving abroad for me is it helped me shape my agenda very clearly. What I wanted to do, who I wanted to be, um, what direction I'm going in. And I'm always really super focused on it, even though there's some areas that I lack discipline in and, and I'm working on that. But the show kind of makes me think about how some people have what it takes to go for their agenda, even if it lands them in jail. And we've seen that in society too. So Inventing Anna is a very interesting show because it kind of deals with the realm of networking and building relationships and things that I've had to do at moving to another country. I moved here, there was no family, there was no friends, there was nothing. I had to create a life for myself. And I just want to encourage you ladies to know what your agenda is. What is your agenda? Do you want to change your look this year? You know, do you want to develop some type of outlet for you to bring in an extra stream of income? You know, what is your agenda? And be mindful of the agenda of other people, because it's very clear to me that there are some very wicked, wicked people online who are making a lot of money off um, the pain of men and women. People will try to use whatever weakness you have to, and they will exploit it. You know, whether that is your race or your weight 
or how tall or short you are or how rich or poor you are. People will take an agenda and they will exploit it. And so I just wanted to give you my thoughts of watching that show inventing and i'm not done i have two more episodes and then we'll be done with that series but i'm really enjoying it besides the wokeity woke parts and i wanted to come share my thoughts about that so i will see you guys in my next video i think i'm going to do the community membership for certain videos and then i'm going to continue to do my patreon stuff uh yeah so i think that's the direction i'm going in what my agenda will be i would love to hear what your agenda is and if you've noticed that some people have some wickedness behind their agendas it's very sad to see some of the things that are going on because i think a lot of people are going to be led astray um and what they're looking for i don't think they're going to find but I like Anna's character because she's like a by any means necessary. And I think I am that kind of woman. But of course, I have certain value systems that I live by. So there are certain things I will not do. But anything that's not conflicting my values, my value system, um, I'm not to be messed with. You know, I'm going to get what I want. I'm going to reach my goals. I've kind of proven that to myself over the years that I can do what I want to do in so many different ways. Maybe I'll come share different stories about that, how I, you know, in, invented myself in some ways or reinvented myself, uh, because I think it's important to keep reinventing yourself, but holding on to your core values and your belief systems. So yeah, let me get out of here. I'm going to go hang out with hubby now. I cook chili tonight. Chili is one of my favorites. I don't think it's one of my husband's favorites. You like chili, babe? Like, I, <laughs> I like it. So yeah, I cooked chili. I'm going to make some corn and yeah, probably edit this video and work on my Patreon communities. I have Wifey for Lifey group and I need to do some content because I've taken a couple of days off from that particular platform. I have multiple platforms and it's a lot of work, you know, but I also have a lot of time to rest. So I enjoy having multiple platforms because I'm a layered person. I'm not just like a person that wants to discuss one thing all the time. You know, um, I'm a woman and I'm layered. So let me get out of here. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>